Team Hot Wheels. So that's the theme for 2011-2012. Hot Wheels has their Team Hot Wheels. And they basically have uh, different drivers. Blue driver, yellow driver, blah blah driver. But uh, I want to talk about this guy here. In the video that's uh, on YouTube for Hot Wheels. They have uh, this car. But it's called uh, like F1 Racer. I think that's what they call it. They wound up using GP... 2009 they wound up using this model here for that for that driver but if you watch the videos it looks like this it's got it all pointy and stuff that's similar but it's not the same car then when it came out with the ripcord racer that's what it's supposed to look like see how it's uh, got the pointy front spoiler right there it's got the big angles on the side. That That's exactly how it looks like in the uh, YouTube video. You can see it. Very futuristic. They even have a Danica in there showing uh, the new F1. But uh, you know what? When you buy this head, you want that car. But instead, it came with this car here. But uh, guess what? Do, 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 do. There it is. Bad to the blade. Check him out! Now the uh, front wing sticks straight out instead of it being kind of angled down like this. See how it's going straight out? But uh, definitely look at the sides. That's how it's supposed to be. It's probably a safety issue as far as the uh, front thing. I don't know. But uh, much, much, much better right here. Let's go ahead and check them out. Now I got this at Target. But this should be available at uh, all the stores that are selling the uh, Team Hot Wheels merchandise. There you go. Now in the Hot Wheels video, they say that this wing in the back here is for a downdraft to make it go uh, drive upside down on a track and then it comes down. But, uh, you know, CGI will let you do everything nowadays. So very cool. Check out your team. Oh, yeah, one more thing. Check this out. So, uh, look on the back of the package. Here's this guy, Bad to the Blade. We got another new car coming. Forward Speed. I seen this Nissan 370Z on the pegs. It was kind of a interesting orange something. It was kind of dark. I don't remember if I seen the uh, Ford Fiesta. But uh, it's kind of neat to get new models uh new castings outside of the regular hot wheels models so i wouldn't be surprised if we see these in the future in the basics especially this forward speed both of them uh this one looks like it's going to be good for the boosters i don't know it looks it like might be skinny here but anyways i look forward to seeing this one soon glad to get back to the bad to the blade on the package and just like in the video, it was called F1 Racer, so I wonder, uh, I wonder if it's going to be changed. Let's check the base. Does not have the name on the base. This here is the required legal mumbo jumbo for uh, Europe. I think that's the toy number. Made in Thailand. Mm, pretty cool. It's got the. Uh, Speed wheels. It's got nickel plated axle. See how long it spins? That's because it's a nickel plated axle, and I think the uh, wheels themselves are acetal, uh, special kind of plastic. But, uh, anyways, if you're looking for this car, it'll be coming to your stores soon. Hey, I think I figured out why they changed the uh, front spoiler there. It's so that this way the car would go through a loop. Because if that uh, front spoiler was pointed down like that, it would not make it through the loops. It would be uh, gouging the track as it would be going around. Uh, I, I would not put it through a booster because you got those wheels sticking out. Not unless you want to uh, buy another car over and over. But uh, I'm sure it'd be fine with the gravity set. Send it through a loop. As a matter of fact, send it through the, uh, let's see, spiral spin out loop. Bye bye.